Jets roaring through the sky is a blast anytime, but this is different. Well, as you can imagine, uh, when you get the opportunity to fly over the Super Bowl, there's no shortage of volunteers. But so Lieutenant Colonel Chris McAleer, call sign Nike, called in three planes for the Super Bowl flyover. The B-2 stealth bomber, invisible. The B-1B Lancer, big and supersonic. And the iconic B-52. Rarely have all three flown together. All three of these put together uh, really represent our nation's front line of deterrence to our enemies. And a point of pride for friends who flew them. The B-52 is, I think, the, uh, uh, the daddy of all of them. Uh, it started out in 1952 with the first flight. The updated version, along with the two other bombers, will fly over the Super Bowl. Seeing bombers in the skies over Tampa may seem unusual, but for many years, it was an everyday thing. McDill Tiles, 5024, we're ready to go. The movie Strategic Air Command with Jimmy Stewart was filmed here. MacDill was a bomber base, and they'll pay homage. That we're going to be able to get the tankers from MacDill uh, airborne and let our crews practice aerial refueling. Even But the end game is the big game on Sunday. And then they're going to use the, uh, the pressure of performing in front of millions worldwide to make sure that they hit that last note, home of the brave, and, and their overheads. It's literally down to the second, isn't it? <laughs> It is. No pressure, right? <laughs> for three famous planes, timing is everything for Mission Super Bowl. Lloyd Towers, Fox 13 News. That will be pretty cool to see. And those bombers will come from three different bases in the Dakotas and Missouri. But they won't even land here. They're just going to go right back to their bases after the flyover.